Hello everybody, Lucas Hanneman here and welcome to yet another episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday. As I'm sure you have already guessed, today we're going to talk about pedals. And not any old pedals, we're going to talk about my top two favorite pedals. And I think, at least this one, you probably have never heard of before, unless you follow me or are into the boutique pedal market. This is a Kingsley Minstrel tube overdrive pedal. This pedal was built in 2011 by Simon Jarrett out of British Columbia. Simon's a, a British guy who moved to Canada and started building amplifiers in, an, I guess it was, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. And he's carved out a pretty amazing reputation for himself. So I'll just talk to you about how I met Simon and it was a pretty a pretty special experience. In 2011, I had uh, the chance to go to the Whistler Jazz Festival. And I had the chance to actually attend this big guitar workshop that they were having there. I was really lucky to get a scholarship through the CNIB to go attend this camp. And the guitar professors were astounding <laughs> talents. So we're talking about people like Kevin Eubanks, who used to play in The Tonight Show, um, Stanley Jordan, who's an amazing guy who like taps with both of his hands that plays jazz, uh, Lauren Lasky, who's an amazing, amazing uh, Toronto-based jazz guitar player. So these were our professors. And Simon was another one of the students in the class with me. Um, I didn't really know much about what he did at that point. I didn't know anything about it, to be honest, um, until we had a show. And the last day of the festival, Kevin Eubanks organized this, this performance for all the guitar students at the, at the festival. And uh, one thing that was really cool about that is we actually got to play on the stage where the Olympic ceremony happened the year before in 2010. So it was pretty cool. So we were up there in the late afternoon in front of about 5,000 people. And uh, right before I went on stage, Simon came up to me and said, Hey, Lucas, do you want to plug into my amplifier? I built it myself. It's right here on stage. I said, yeah, I'd love to. So I plugged into Simon's amp and my whole <laughs> world changed. I, uh, at that point in my life, I had never played in, in, into such an amazing amplifier. I mean, he, he hand builds these things and he's kind of on, on the level like Dumble or those guys. He's, 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 a, he's a genius, this guy. And um, I couldn't believe how amazing this amplifier sounded. It was just, it just floored me. Um, so needless to say, I started saving and saving and saving to buy one, and they're not cheap. So the first step was to get an overdrive pedal. And I'm very grateful I got this for Christmas from my dad uh, in 2011. And literally, I had to yank it off my pedal board today because it's been glued to that thing ever since. Um, so it's an amazing thing. It's got two 12AX7s underneath this little shield here. So two preamp tubes, which basically means it's like adding a, a gain stage to your amplifier. It sounds amazing through any amp. And we've got uh, controls here for bass, mid, treble, volume, and of course, gain. So I'm going to plug in my Brown Bear Telecaster style guitar today uh, to the Vintage Sound, Vintage 20 Princeton Reverb style amp as usual. And here is the clean sound. Here's the pedal. So I hope you guys can hear how touch sensitive it is. Right now I'm using it in the first mode, which is like, it's kind of like this fendery meets dumble kind of sound. It doesn't really sound like anything else. And I really love uh, how transparent it is. It, it, you know, 
And like I say, it sounds great through any amp. Uh, and there are three gain modes in this amplifier. I'm going to go to the most intense gain mode just to show you the contrast. We don't have time to get into all of it today, but I'm going to link to a video of Simon demonstrating the full potential of this pedal. It's pretty amazing. So uh, here we go. Kind of more of a Marshall-y sound. <laughs> I'm doing a pop gig, uh, but it's really, really cool. And you can even set it up like a clean boost. So back to mode one. So kind of like that John Mayer kind of edge of breakup sound. So it's super versatile. I hope you guys realize that. It's super, super versatile. And yes, it's expensive, but uh, I, I recommend checking it out. Okay, on to the other pedal. This is a TC Electronics Ditto Looper. Uh, much more well-known and, uh, you know, much more easy to find info on this pedal online. Super simple. It's just up to five and a half minutes, I think, of looping. And not only is it uh, you know, a straight loop pedal, but you can layer as much as you want. So this pedal is one that I like using when I'm doing acoustic gigs with my wife or by myself uh, or with someone else. To me, it kind of fills in the space that the, that the bass and drums uh, you know, would fill <laughs> uh, if they were there. Let me show you what I mean. Like I like to use it for kind of more percussive purposes to make the guitar sound not like a guitar. So, uh, here we go. This is my Holly acoustic guitar once again. So, okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna do, start off with kind of something percussive here. Okay. possibilities are endless if you want to see this pedal in action come out and see megan and i play sometime or check out some of our stuff that we're going to be putting up online soon i really love this pedal it's very 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 cool with the acoustic guitar so in the comment section below this week please let me know what's your favorite pedal if you could only have one pedal what would it be please like share comment subscribe we'll see you guys again next tuesday bye bye